OK, and then we use the corresponding else block to draw the triangle. To draw the triangle it will be pretty much the same, except one thing, I use the GL triangle and I don't use the LUT. So I simply copy it, paste it, so this will be GL triangles and I don't use the last vertex because a triangle has just three vertex. And I think we have, haven't ch uh, have to change anything else. OK, we end the list and then we just return from this function with the num. So the num is the identifier for the list. OK, and here we just uh, delete everything. Oh, first I have to delete everything and then I return. I always, uh, almost make a, a memory leak. OK, that's about it. So now we can load it. Uh, so. Let's try it out. Uh, actually, I tell you that first we have to activate the lighting, but actually try without the lighting to see the difference between the lighting, because the lighting makes 3D actually 3D. Without lighting, there is just uh, almost looks 2D. So in the init function, I make a global variable for now. So int text, uh, well, what the what should we call uh, cube? Call it cube, and cube equals to load uh, object and the file name is test.obj all right that's about it i think we haven't uh, we uh, have everything which is needed all right so we just load the object and draw it so in here i just call the gl call list and I call the oh cube cube list. Okay, so uh, I think we can now try to compile and uh, of course fix the errors. Okay, I have a few errors, so let's jump to uh, so let's jump to it. The first is code is not member of STD. That's because we haven't include the library. Include io stream all right the next one is at line 52 so go to the 52 uh, actually 53 now and oh i call it buff and i uh, call it c in here so i use buff in here without i and i use buff in here too all right so oh not beef buff that's right next error is 57 actually this is 58 now and that error is caused by use the bad precedent so first we get the so first of all we get the indirection so at the actual string and then i use the indexing uh, but because the indirection operator has higher precedence it will first get a uh, or something like that so basically you have to use the parentheses to first actually get the indirection and then use the indexing uh, and not first uh, do the indexing and then get the uh, uh, so yes so then use the indirection okay and we have to do actually the same in here and okay and here and everywhere where i used uh, where i used uh, in this te uh, this technique so i just use the parentheses to change the actual order how the uh, operators are uh, used okay and one last and we will finish I think so. Okay, that was the last one. Okay, by the way, it, it's right a uh, quite long error. So, yes, uh, I just want to show you to see an error like that. Then this could help. Okay, forty the seventy four a semicolon. Huh. I will try to compile again. So. Alright, we get a few 
error, so 60. Oh, the parenthesis is in a bad place. Write that. Okay, 60, 63. I do not read to there. Uh, first, I do the thing that I use a char TMP value to read the V. But I realized why would I do that, right? So that's why I made that mistake. The next one is 75. Oh. Parenthesis, close the parenthesis, and I do the same mistake in here. So close the parenthesis. Okay, I think now we can compile. And that's it. It is compiled. Hmm, bad thing. Okay, I find why the segmentation error happened. This is because when I read the face in here, so the face, I used one equal sign instead of two equal sign. And uh, now the problem uh, shouldn't be happen. I think I haven't changed anything as I think so. Okay, so if we run the program, we can see the cube is spinning. So this is the cube we just loaded. As you can see, we have no lighting. That's why it's, uh, it seems so ugly. So let's enable the lighting to fix that error. Okay, I go to the initialization right here and I just use the uh, GL enable and I use the GL lighting. Okay, and I enable the light zero, so GL light zero. Okay, I just set the default color white, so float color float. Okay, and uh, I just set it to 1.0, 1.0, 1.0. So it is the brightest white that is possible. So I use the GL light FV function. First is what light do we want to modify? We want to modify the GL light zero. We want to modify the diffu uh, diffuse pro property of the <coughs> lamp. So the actually be the lamp and then the color array. Okay, and I do a little bit, so I do with the position, so I just come to here under the tr uh, loaded entity, I call it pos as position, and I set, uh, for example, minus uh, 2 on the x-axis, a uh, little bit above, so make it 3 on the y-axis, and make minus 4 on the z-axis, and just leave it as one. Okay, and I change the position to it and write pause right here. All right, that's about it. I think we should get a nice result. Okay, we have some kind of lighting. I think it's a little bit too up. So I just uh, get a little bit downer. So for example, one. Compile, run. A little better. Get it a little bit closer. And a little bit back to minus two. Okay, so basically all I do is just try to set a correct lighting. Okay, I think that the lighting seems correct. Uh, to me. So, I think we are ready. Actually, try to load some a little bit complex model. So, I just uh, open up Blender. Okay, I open up Blender. I just press X to delete the default cube and enter to delete it. I use the space mesh monkey. This is a monkey head. This is default in Blender. By the way, if you use Blender 2.5, uh, press space and then type monkey and uh, you will find add monkey head some or something like that. So just add it. It's a little, uh, it's a quite low poly model and it is very simple, mostly used for demonstration purposes. Okay, we do the same thing. So file, export, 
wavefront object format and actually I will delete uh, I will rewrite this test dot object because I do not really need that anymore so export and I use the same thing so I export uh, uh, normals but I don't think uh, export materials UVs or nerves all right and I don't rotate it export so I just uh, overwrite it and now we don't even need to recompile now we can run okay here we go as you can see it's uh, it was quite easy to load a 3d model now we can translate it rotate it and even scale it but we cannot change the vertexes but why would we want to do that as you can see it work very well even if in higher models okay I changed a few things in the program like rotate it so just rotate it in one direction and I just want to show you one very high uh, so a model which contain a lot of vertexes faces as you can see this is more than uh, one million six thousand hundred thousand vertex uh, uh, lines of code and I just want to show you that it is work with this so after I compile and run it need a lot of time to load it actually which is quite uh, rare in uh, computer programs usually which we wrote computer programs work immediately so as you expect it will immediately do that okay as you can see it work with this very high definition model uh, I just want to show you so this is the last things and uh, yes uh, thank you for watching and have a great day oh okay this program is not completely finished because I want to load the materials too not just the actual mesh but uh, we are I think we are gone through the hardest part of this entire thing I think everything is uh, quite simple and straightforward but if you don't find it as simple and straightforward just ask me and I try to explain as good as I can okay and basically that was all as you can see now we can load a bunch of kind of models so we can animate something uh, so we can model something in blender and then we put that which we have modeled to the program and that is much better for demonstration purposes now we need to uh, go through the 3d camera so the 3d fps camera and basically then we can start to the fun okay thank you for watching and have a